Finch, we're live in two minutes. I'm drying my hair. To the fourth annual Golden Horn Awards live. Live. Thank you I for joining us. Sunday. This is going to be raw, so we don't know. Yeah, we don't know what's going to happen. So, I mean, anything could happen. We swear. We could possibly we swear. We could. We so, have some alcoholic beverages. I know. So, anything anything goes tonight. Yeah. So, thank you for joining us. We're very excited. We wait all year for this, right? Yeah. No, yeah. I mean, it's always fun because now, after all the holiday, all that crap is all over with, all that stuff, now I get down to the real, the real reason for the season. Yeah, this is all really stuff. For it really is. I like that. Thank you for joining me once again. This Thank is you. your very much. third one. Yeah, my third so one. Is co-host Lucio Finchi, of course. Everybody. Pleasure co-hosting, being with you guys. Um, you know, hope you guys have a good time watching everything, and we're real excited about about this whole year. It was I thought it was a great year. And they do uh, still make good movies, right? Yeah. Contrary to popular belief, <laughs> here and there. Uh, I want to thank someone first, really quick, before we start. Uh, our boy, my uh, brother from another mother and another land yeah richard thanks richard. so much for that logo um, yeah that logo was killer dude yeah. thanks for taking the awesome. time you put really into cool. that we appreciate it very much yeah, that was very cool thanks a lot man yeah it's awesome so let's uh we start off every award show with a, a beverage we start off every show, every show yeah. so we got a nice one right you never yes. had this had look yet. at that well that's a killer we're label. still stuck in that yeah we're still past. we're still there we're in denial <laughs> the black o lantern stout awesome bottle by oh my god wasatch 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 Brewery out of, I believe, Utah. Great, great label. I love that. Yeah, awesome label. So, Charles, everybody. Happy New Char's, Year. Belated yeah. New Year. Charles, everyone. Oh, well, dude, you were right. Yeah. Good, huh? Nice. That, that, it tastes like Halloween. Yeah, it's kind of... It's really good. It's like brains. It's almost... Like it. Yeah, it's like... It's like a gingerbread. Almost. Yeah, it is kind of gingerbread. Good call. Really good. You're on, you're on descript, descriptive <laughs> form tonight, man. It's going to be good. <laughs> All right, let's get to it, man. A celebration right. of the best in horror. Hopefully you guys saw the season finale where I gave you a little taste of the nomination. So we're going to get right to it. It's live. Get through these. We're going to start. We have 13 categories. Yeah. So uh, let's, uh, what do we got first? First up is the best release. So this is not just, this doesn't just mean a, a film that's come out this year. This could be an old film that was... You know, re this re is just strictly them. a release um, yeah, category. Edition, special edition, edition releases. Let's start. So we have a stack. We'll we got some you know. killer ones over here. Want to take here. the first one? Yeah. Your nominees are for best release nominees. of 2014. Say this, the label too when you say it. All right. This uh, from Arrow Video. This necromantic, fantastic Blu-ray, amazing. Box set. This this is really no no. No, we won't show it. We won't take it apart, but there's really cool shit in here. I mean, the Polaroids and all this. Yeah. Uh, very cool. Thing. And exclusive the artwork is awesome. Too, so. The book is really cool. Cool artwork and everything. So yeah. if you love that film and you don't have it yet, yeah, that's a must. It's a Blu-ray. Nightbreed, thank you, uh, Screen Factory, for fucking up and sending me this one <laughs> yeah. since I purchased the, the small edition. But it is very nice. Um, you get both versions in there. Nice booklet and that artwork is, is awesome. Comes with a poster as well. And no, I did not send this back. No. <laughs> next yeah, this, up. This is your fuck up. Uh, next up from Toe Tag. Red Sin Tower. Five Killer disc edition. edition. Five disc. This is a ridiculous five disc edition. Lots of cool shit in here. God, Amazing extras. Of course awesome. I went with the blue. Oh, of course, yeah, I had to go with this reversible cover. Reversible, it's a reversible cover. cover, but this one's this one's awesome. But Their best film, one of my favorite indie yeah, horror films. Ever. Amazing film. Please go see it if you have And they are correcting the problem, guys, in case you didn't know. Yeah. The disc problems. By uh, our German friends, uh, XT Video, who make great hard boxes and media books. 
the uh, Beyond Ibon media book, Woman of the 2000, really cool. You have this one as well. I love that one. Awesome media book, Blu-ray as well. Love how it's plushy too. It, it is like a real book. It's very padded. Awesome. Can you see it go in and out? <laughs> in and show? All right, yeah, very cool XD video. And, and last, last up, is this, this uh, Mondo, Mondo Vision. Mondo Mondo Vision. This possession. Very happy. Killer. Yeah. Zulowski's great film. Look at that. Great label model, but yeah. All the editions they put out. There's, there's a lot of really cool, uh, yeah. lo lot of really. We cool could spend stuff all day here. talking about the content. Yeah, this of that. is a whole, this is a whole segment on its own. But all right, you want to take this one? Sure. It's like it's like the stock. It's like Wall Street. <laughs> it's the first one. The first horny. First horny award. 2014, 2014 and 2015. For best release. Remember, you gotta say, and the horny ghost. For best release edition, the horny goes to possession. Deluxe Blu-ray by Mondo Vision. This baby right here. It was almost unfair, wasn't it? Yeah, it really is. Like they're, they're it's like overkill, I mean, but like in a good way. Deliciously overkill. It's, it's ridiculous. Oh yeah, it's yeah. So fantastic. if you love that film, you have to pick that up. Yeah. And all they right. do they do all kinds of editions for all the his movies. Yeah, for his films, also, right? They take a while to do them, but you can see why. Yeah. All right, next up, we got another next stack up. artwork. Next up is best artwork. Important category. Yeah, Unfortunately, important. we could do a, a long list of the worst yeah, artwork. Right. Yeah, like we were talking about we were earlier. Talking about earlier. Um, you started off. So, first one. Strange color of your body's tears. Hopefully you guys can see these. Hope, yeah, I hope you can see that. By Draft House. This was a reversible cover. Of course, it's always the one on the other cool side is always the better artwork, right? Yeah. Cheap Thrills. I love that cover. Love simple, that but so cool. Yeah, simple, but yeah. cool. Next up. Another simple, but cool one. Escape from Tomorrow. Or not, again, very simple. Yeah, simple but effective. Um, yeah, but effective. Treehouse is like that. That's like badass. That. Really I mean, that, cool. that like grabs you in, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it definitely does. It's real vibey and everything. Another draft house. Uh, no. Boardman. Again, the reverse. Very this cool. was the other side, so I had to Yeah, yeah I, I didn't even see that one. It's always the that best one, that artwork. It's very cool. Draft house. Love that one. Awesome. Lastly, best artwork, Wolf Cop. Awesome slip. Great art, like you said, hobo with a shotgun style yeah. artwork. All right, I'll take this one. Next up. For best artwork, very important category to us. Well, they all are, but we love our artwork. And the horny goes to for best artwork. Escape from Tomorrow, oh. the simple. Bloody oh, Mickey Mouse, that one one, out. man. Bloody <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> there you go. Congratulations to that one. Congrats. Fuck Disney. All right, what do we got next? Fuck you. Take a swig, man. You're Next you're up, uh, I'll take this. Best score. We're you know, we're obviously into music, and yeah. score matters to us big time. It can affect the film immensely, obviously, in one way or another. So your nominees for best score are number one, Killers. Under the Skin. Gun Woman. Strange Color of Your Body's Tears. You got it all in there. Yeah. The Babadook. And Escape from Tomorrow. Another one. Going. Can they get oh, two in a row? Oh, back to back. You gonna get this one? Yeah. It's a real envelope, people. Yeah. I actually had to yeah, sit these down are real. Look at, that. Look at that. The loser that I am. <laughs> how, best many, score. how many hours would it take you to do at this? At least three. So, best score 2014. The horny goes to. Gun Woman! Gun Woman. Awesome. I love that. I gotta say, uh, I gotta say something real quick. Typic that that score and you know it well. That score is typically the type of score that I'm not usually like into. I <laughs> yeah. both of us. We yeah. usually like like atmospheric, yeah. ambient type score, like classical driven, moody type stuff, right? right? And that one's not. It's like, it's like over a rock and like yeah. But here's the, the key with that one. I mean, not only do they have a th I love theme songs when like there's a song called Gun Woman and Asami, yeah, the lead Asami. actor, sings it, yeah. which makes her even sexy. Right? She <laughs> has a great voice. And then my favorite classical piece by Bach, Air. You know I love that song. Yeah. There was a guitar version of it in the song. And when I first saw that in the film, yeah, I was, was like... super cool. And if, if you guys haven't seen this film, I'm sure there's plenty of people that haven't yet because it hasn't gotten a wide release. Um, if that song at the end of the movie doesn't get your fist pumping during the credits yeah. of Gun yeah, it's Woman, a good, like, it's a good fist pumping. you got to check your heartbeat because <laughs> something's wrong. But anyway, yeah, Gun Woman. Yeah, awesome fantastic. Soundtrack. Awesome, uh, it's yeah. definitely a fist pumping soundtrack. Congrats. Let's go. What Next we got up, uh, best makeup and gore effects. All right. Very. Is a, is a, is a, We're a practical guys, so you yeah. can probably guess there's not going to be much CGI involved with this category. So, so right. uh, first up, Septic Man, Tulpa, Judy, 
Dead Snow 2, Red vs. Dead, I think was that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Gun Woman. And Daddy's Little Girl. Ooh. All right, I think this is, this well, is you, right? Oh, no, it's you. No, it's me. I'm already drunk. I'm not drunk. <laughs> the Horny Ghost 2 for Best Makeup Slash... Right, so slash. This be that one, the way they're looking at it. Slash yeah, gore effects. Oh, uh, back, to back. back to back. Look at that. Come go, go, come go. On. Oh, yeah, awesome effects. Fantastic. We were yeah. talking earlier. All these. Yeah, all these. It was a really we'll tough choice. We'll talk about it later, but yeah, 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 there's a tough some choice. really good. All these are tough. There's no like runaway picks, I don't think. Maybe there will be. If, if, we're, if we're naming your film right now, there's... That's you a, should, it's enough to know that. Do you think a filmmaker, anybody involved in any of these movies, will ever watch this award show? I, I know one. Do you? Okay. You That's know. cool. You know. Yeah, there is one. We don't want to give away any we don't give away. But. Spoiler alert. All right. Next one up. We love this category. I'm a little heavier. Usually, actually, guest opens the envelope on this yeah. one. But uh, we're live, so we don't really have the she, time she to like call, call people in and out. Like, hey, do this. So it's live. You know? Yeah. So let's do, do what it. You can. Scariest, so we'll creepiest film. We love scary. That's what the root of horror, right? Yeah. It's when it first very, very much was meant to, to be. That atmosphere, the creepiness, everything like that. You know, um, there. Nominees. The Den. Judy. Judy, another nominee. Another nominee. I just like saying Judy. Judy. At the Devil's Door. As above, so below. Torment. Mm. And mm. the taking of Deborah Logan. All right, let's do this. This is so. you. Scariest. Charms the little heaven. That's usually her favorite category. Yeah, she so loves the creepers. You. This one's for you. Horny ghost. Horny ghost two. Scariest, creepiest. Judy. 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 Micro storm. Judy. <laughs> awesome. Congrats. Awesome. Very good job. You film. That was such a pleasant surprise. You still got to see that. One. Yeah, I haven't seen that one yet. What so. The hell? Sorry. The We're live TV, but I keep track of time. <laughs> Our best low budget. This used to be a couple years ago. This was all in one category: best indie low budget. But because there's so much great films, we yeah. had to chop mm -hmm. it in half. So definitely best low budget. What a great group of films! Um, best low budget horror film. Your nominees are Coyote, Worm, Kill That Bitch, Ooh, Shit, Crawl or Die. It's very Ooh, it's very people's uh, face. Yeah. Asking a lot of people. <laughs> Blood Widow, and Disco Path. All right. This me. I can't keep track of that one. No, I think it's you. Whatever. No, it's you. Best low budget <laughs> horror film. This is a big one. They're all big, but this yeah. is like that that part where it slowly starts to swing for like big <laughs> time. Best low budget indie horror film. Can Dustin Mills go for two years in a row? Mm -hmm. He won for Skinless Pete last year. And Hardy goes too. Crawl or Crawl die. Or die. Congrats. Great alien job. flick. Fantastic. I, I really love that one. Awesome. Nicole Alonso. I think the director's name is Oklahoma. Good. It's pretty awesome. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Pretty sure. So, congrats, guys. Yeah, awesome. Good. Great job. As if you're watching. But. <laughs> yeah. Congrats. This All is right. for you guys. So, and kind of like a part B to this is best indie film now. Mm -hmm. So, uh, nominees best indie Wolf Cop, Afflicted, Tulpa, Blue Ruin. Treehouse and Judy again. Judy Not again. Lots of Judy. I think you got a thing for Judy. <laughs> All right. Horny. Get excited. Horny sweat. for best indie. Those two. Treehouse. Ooh. Whoa. A film we watched on our marathon. Yeah, that, that we did. That we, we did. Really, it I was, told you, I rewatched this film, guys, and I just loved it. you got to give this one another It probably one. is a rewatch because, you know. We were seven movies in at that point. Yeah, we were, in, we were pretty deep at that and point. And a film I honestly have not heard anyone talk about. I mean, guys, if yeah. it's, it's a Region 2 release. I have no idea if there's a Region 1 release. Go see that film. It's it's freaking obviously. It's a horny winner now. Man. <laughs> it's official now. It's officially a great <laughs> film. Go see that film. Oh, that's That slipcover, too. All right. The year of the slipcover. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. You called it. Really it is now. Yeah. He said it. I was going to go there, but... <laughs> I think it needed to go there. You're the slip card. 2014. <laughs> what is next? So, next up, we have uh, Best Foreign. Oh, we Best love foreign We films. love our... We, we love, love foreign films. films. Love foreign films. Foreign love women. Foreign women. No, we've never had... Foreign food. We've never had a foreign woman in our lives. Have you? No. Okay. I dated a Canadian one. Does that count? <laughs> no? 
And we no. love foreign yeah, music. No, no, it does count. Yeah, that counts. No, that counts? Yeah, it's another country. Right. I made it to second base. Yeah. All right. I think that All right. counts. <laughs> All right. Yeah, big ones. Best, foreign best we love foreign. foreign. I'm not big. Uh, I don't want to get into this. What? Uh, uh, foreign food, like, I haven't traveled enough to, like, say. Yeah, I like Mexican. We like pizza. We like pizza. All right. All right. Anyway. Now, these are. This is a big one. This is top <laughs> two because it. Like every year, the foreign and indie scene. Foreign's always I could do um, two categories of this. Foreign is very strong. Very strong every year. So there's some good films that got left out of this category. Yeah. Yeah. First up, Housebound. Where are we here in this thing? Okay, we're done. Strange Color of Your Body's Tears. Uh, Mobius. Witching and Bitching. Under the Skin. And Borgman. 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 All right. Borgman. Second, I looked over and there's no pile of envelopes. I'm freaked out. It's me. You go. You starting to get the butterflies yeah, getting, getting the sweats. All right. Meat sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Best foreign film in the horny goes to people. Goes to people. <laughs> That's a paper Whoa, film. Oh, yeah. That's a mouthful. Strange <laughs> color of your body's tears. Fantastic. French. Yeah, that's, that's a great winner. French film doing it in Italian style. That's so really a foreign film, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. With all yeah. Asian actors. No, that would have been one of them and awesome. <laughs> <laughs> like a quasi Asian <laughs> French town giallo. Right? That's the only thing that's like about the movie. The, the actors weren't Asian. Yeah, that was bullshit. But yeah, great film. Yeah, not for everybody. Good, yeah. Not right. Not yeah, for not everybody. for everyone. But like, I mean, it's it's, it's super stylish and um, definitely like a like a true, visually like, right. Visu colors. Visually a true like strange Italian, color yeah. that that movie's <laughs> camera it was just fucking awesome. All right. The next category, we actually right. do have a couple special guests for this yes, one. We do. This category, I think I had it the first year, and then it was like gone for a couple of years, if I remember correctly. It, it's one of those it's, ones. It kind of shows not up all the way now. There's man. not always the ample amount of nominees to. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we're gonna let the pros do this next the, one. The uh, special guests, the lovely. Even though we would probably be better off doing it ourselves. The, the lovely ladies of the, the ladies of family. Ladies so of Horrors Ball. So this is from ladies the, of Horrors Ball. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna introduce our our guests. Presenters for our hottest dude award. Yeah. So come on in, come on in, Mrs. Guys. Headbanger and Mrs. Lucio Falchi. <laughs> Finchy. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Through much debate, we did come up with a list. So I guess I'll start. The nominees right. are David Long, Pieces of Talent. Uh, Hugo Sylvia, um, Witching and Bitching. Uh, ben Feldman, As Above, So Below. Uh, Lee Williams, uh, <laughs> White Settlers, <laughs> A.J. Bowen, The Sacrament, um, Sam Kathleen, The Quiet Ones, <laughs> and the winner, Wait. Yes. Oh, The Horny <laughs> goes to... The Horny. Hugo Silva. From Witching and Bitching. Woo. All right. Good job. Way to be a hot guy. Yeah. So hot. <laughs> All right. Thanks, ladies. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right. Live TV. Live. Oh. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. All right. I still think we, we would have done a better job at picking the, the people. Yeah. We know our hot guys. Yeah, we, we, we know hot guys. All right. So in that one, you guys got to know what's next. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's only natural. We got the, we got the boys out of the way. Favorite award. It is my favorite award. It's probably the viewer's least favorite. It's the uh, it's essentially the namesake of the awards. All right, so all the, the nominees, hurry up and get in the room. All the ladies, yeah, they're having their sleepover. For this. <laughs> this is what you've all been waiting for. Not with the the bra fights and pillow <laughs> fights. All right, the hottest babe, way. hottest babe award, our our PC yes. award. Yes, our favorite. All right. So uh, yeah, this was a big list also, but yeah, we've, I don't think we've ever had this many people. Yeah. So let's start it off. So hottest babe, and your nominees are Sarah Lynn Wolf Cop, Asami Gunwoman, already yeah. two Again, winners. Yeah, already. Sarah Paxton, Cheap Thrills, Catherine Isabel for Seen No Evil Two. I yeah, know, Torment. Mm -hmm. okay. Of course, you know all the, right, the sexier right. role. All right, okay, all right. Carolina Bang, Witching and Bitching. Christy Ray, Pieces of Talent. And here's much like, there's always that surprise every year. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, Ethan Hawke. Uh, He's the dead. Someone from Later Us, too. What was his name? 
Brian Austin Green. Is that his name? Uh, uh, that yeah, his name? yeah. Brian, Brian Austin Green. Green. Yeah. Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson, everybody. All right. <laughs> the hornies. How do you end up horny? Well, All right. That, that makes a lot of sense, though. So, yeah, that actually makes sense. But it's, you know, her first horror movie. All right. And her first horny nomination. All right. There it is. There it is. Make their parents proud. <laughs> yeah. The horny, the horny goes to for hottest babe. Was there a doubt at all? Carolina, Carolina Bang. Bang. Can you believe that? That's two for that I, movie. They won both awards. That is the is that the best looking horror movie of the year? Yeah, I would that's, say, a, I guess. that's a sexy horror <laughs> it's movie. It's a sexy horror movie. Yeah. You know what? And with this award, I'm gonna, you weren't we didn't rehearse this, obviously. No, so I'm gonna really. throw you a curveball right now. Oh, Live TV. Oh, no. This this uh, we're in our fourth award show, so it's still relatively in its infancy, right? So you're gonna have to like change some things as, as time goes on, yeah. right? Yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna change the name of this award oh, no. because she's won twice, right? Oh, to the, nice. This is now called yeah, uh, the Carolina Bank <laughs> Award. All right. Uh, that's, a, that's appropriate. That's she's very won appropriate. two out of four years now. Yeah. And that's only because she the other has. two years she didn't do a movie. So I mean, <laughs> so th here's the question, people. You guys leave comments. This is all I want you to comment about on this video, is this, yeah, this nothing, question. Yeah, yeah. No, nothing else. Should she now be ineligible to win again, now that, now that it's named after her? Is she, like, retired? Yeah, does it... Do you think? That's got to be how it is, hang, right? Does she hang her brow up now and, you know, can't, can't be nominated anymore? I don't know. But we'll let them decide? But, but, you know... This is a test to see if anyone's really paying future. attention. I don't know, that's, that's a tough one. I would have to say she probably should be retired now. It, with the award being her name, it would kind of seem unfair for her to be up for a future one. For her agree? to win her own exactly. award. Exactly, so that's my vote. You, know, you guys let us know what you think. And that's enough of that ridiculousness. Okay. Babes. Carolina Bang. There was another yeah. doubt. No disrespect to the other ladies. Tough to beat a naked that's Scarlett really Johansson too, isn't it? I mean, that shows up. Naked, she beat know, exactly. naked Scarlett exactly. Johansson. So if you haven't seen her work, Last Circus, great film. Anyway, okay, let's get down. Jesus. A couple more of the individual awards, the ones that I guess you can call real now. Best <laughs> actor. Best actor. Actor. Um, actor. Who's that? Macon Blair? Mm -hmm. Is that what he said? Yeah. Blue Ruin. All right. J. Michael Troutman, Treehouse. Nice. Uh, Bill Oberst Jr., Coyote. Let's see. David Long, Pieces of Talent. And what does that say? No. Nope. Noak, Noak Wiseman. Noak Wiseman. I think Noak, 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 Noak. A little cute kid from the Bob. Rowhead, yeah, from Baba Duke. That's it, cool. Cool, I'm a little kid, teenager, adult. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Ain't that age range, though. <laughs> All right, you want to do this one? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'll do this one. This is a big one. All right, best actor. The final couple of awards, people. 2014, the horny, horny ghost, yeah. goes to Mr. David Long oh. for Pieces of Talent. Woo! What does it say in there? What does it say? That, <laughs> hashtag that smile though. Which, which I made yeah. up on Instagram. Yeah, and it, it freaking right. caught on. I gotta tell him now. You know, we always have surprises up our tattoo sleeves, right? <laughs> and this, here's, we got something special we, we for you guys. We a big surprise We've never done this before. So. And it's super cool. Yeah, so let's, let's say it. All right, we're gonna go now for the first time ever via satellite. Live, live via satellite. To, uh, to our winner, David Long. To David Long. To accept, we don't have an actual trophy to we give them, trophy, but, but someday we'll, we gotta get we'll give them something. Horn. We'll give them something. Richard, make us real gold horn awards. Yeah. Like real yeah. Yeah. copper. Yeah, that'd be awesome. <laughs> I'm sure it won't cost a lot of money at all. All right, let's head over to David. I just wanna say thanks for being horny. I want it. Yeah. Like, best actor? Come on. Come on. You guys are crazy. I know you love me. But I love you guys more now. We're gonna have to hang out. We're gonna have a beer. I promise. Thank you so much, David. Yeah, that. yeah. That thanks awesome. a lot. It was it was really cool of you to do that and everything. And, and uh, congrats. Yeah, congrats to you. It was, it was a pleasure. And uh, what a performance. Yeah, fantastic performance. I love this guy. He's, he's a wonderful dude. You have, oh, he is. You have a beautiful smile. Uh, he's a, he, is, and he also has beautiful hair. Yeah, he has, <laughs> he has beautiful and hair. Back down my path. And to beat out those yeah. other people, you know what I mean? Like great yeah, performances. Yeah, there was a lot. There was a lot of great people on there and everything. And um, but I think yeah, David's a special guy. He's so. a special guy. We're special guys. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're all special together. The three of us would make three special <laughs> guys in one room. All right. So that's a nice segue, right? Naturally. Yeah, yeah naturally. And I think the actress. We think we say this every year. Like there was probably a time, maybe like in the 
the mid '80s. We were much younger, but like you know, what I mean, strong female roles weren't something that was you know in the horror genre. You know, what I mean, a lot of times yeah. they're just like final girls or something. Yeah. Or, you know fodder for killers Meat. or something but now it's like the last more. couple of years i mean these female roles i want to say really they're in a lot of cases even stronger yeah, than the male strong, role. Yeah, a, lot of you know, a couple years ago roles. with the uh, lovely molly and excision yeah. and like you know what i mean like yeah. really strong dramatic horror roles so um that continued this year I'm, and i'm um, glad things like that have taken over well not taken over but yeah. that they've you can be an actress come out more and, and get an awesome role in horror yeah. you know which is really cool and look at these you'll see how this eclectic group of of nominations here we'll get to one particular reason, but your nominees for best actress are you start off. Uh, Missy Keating from Dark Touch. Uh, Christy Ray, Pieces of Talent. All right. Asami from Gunwoman. Essie Davis, The Babadook. And Jill Larson, The The Taking of Deborah Logan. And the cool before we announce the winner, the cool thing about the age range. I mean, you have Missy yeah. Keating, who's I think twelve at the time. We have uh, Larson, who's in her sixties. We have yeah. you know, the other actresses. So I mean, it's such a cool. You know, group of ages. Yeah, yeah, age all over. I mean, from all around the world, even. Yep, you know, exactly. Different, yep, you know, different ages, different backgrounds, and the backgrounds, and, backgrounds and, and foreign ones anyway, are specialty. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Obviously. I, I dated a Canadian once. <laughs> <laughs> the horny goes to best actress, big award. Fuck the Oscars. This is what, this is what you want to get on your resume. Uh, goes to Jill, Jill Larson, Larson, the taking of Great, Deborah Logan. Good, 67 good you, years old. Oh, yeah. Still winning awards to this day. She got me good for you. I mean, bless her. <laughs> bless her. Bless your little heart. <laughs> bless your old heart. Awesome, <laughs> awesome performance, right? Great job, right? Yeah. Awesome. Two left, guys. We're on our final one. I'm gonna give you a charge. Final two, yeah. Not? Final two awards, guys. Thank you so much. If you are watching live, if you're gonna watch this later, if you actually have a life and you're not watching. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate it. Um, leave comments, please. Give us some feedback. We love doing this, and if just any of you out there watching, we really appreciate it. The only that I know of horror award show out yeah, there that I know of. Definitely. Yeah. Like I said, we have, we have a great time doing it, and the little hype around it, and get everything together. And, you know, I get excited. You know, about it. Yeah, we get very excited about it. It it it, it, it uh, at least keeps down my depression of being another year older because my birthday was just a few days ago, and the hornies yeah. always. You know, bring your cheers spirits, me up. Bring, bring my spirits, spirits back up. up. All right, best director. So, the guys who bring these great films to us, um, yeah, they deserve a lot of credit. So, yes, best director, your nominees are. Let's see, where are we here on the sheet? Jennifer Kent, The Babadook. Dustin Mills, Kill That Bitch. And three other films that he made this year. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. But he is technically nominated for Kill That Bitch. <laughs> Joe Stauffer, Pieces of Talent. Kim Ki Duk, nice. Mobius, and Lorenzo Bianchini across the river. This year. I like it. And best director. For best baby. director, the horny goes to Jennifer Kent, the Babadook. Oh, Babadook. 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 Female this director. Right. See, we're just talking so what about were we females, just saying? right? Females taking a strong, strong lead in the horror. We're gonna get all feminist on you. <laughs> Rush. <laughs> Rush. Rush Limbaugh. <laughs> See, right? Best actress, full of different aged women, and a yeah. female one's best director. A lot of great women out this. I'm week. not trying to get all political, and make a point. This wasn't some uh, motive I had earlier. She it's deserved it, all right? Yeah, she definitely deserved it. That was a great film. This you year. watched I it fresh. That. You watched yeah. it hours ago. <laughs> Literally hours ago. <laughs> All right, this is it. This is it, guys. All right, this is the this is the big one. I feel like when you do something live, that makes it like like you should like. I don't know. Should I take my pants off or something? I don't know. <laughs> something that would give us some trouble. <laughs> or, I don't know. Something that would piss somebody off. Maybe I already a pissed. wardrobe probably, malfunction. Yeah, I'm pretty, exactly. Are you asking me to show my nipples that you're doing? I feel, maybe I pissed off enough me. people with that that left wing the rhetoric that I just rant. spout spouted out there. All right, best picture, people. Let's get all controversial. Who is going to go? We need like rafters with like Hope with a Shotgun, Livid, you know, anti -viral. Yeah, we should have with the flag. Richard, like... we make us some rafters? <laughs> like, yeah. like carved artwork of the, the other movie's posters? Can yeah. you do that for yeah, us? Yeah, they, they need their own awards too. <laughs> yeah, so we need, need like, we need like oh five awards at least made. Rafters, 
All right, so all that shit. who will join those films in the, the fictitious rafters of the halls of Horrors Ball, right? Horrors Hall. The halls of Horrors Ball. Horrors Hall. <laughs> Call it Horrors, Horrors Hall. Hall. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I started thinking about Harry the Potter. The halls of something. Horrors Ball. I started thinking about horror, um, Harry Potter and like <laughs> us, us playing Quidditch. Or something. All right, best picture, guys. The big one. The nominees are Escape from Tomorrow, Gunwoman. Across the River, Pieces of Talent, and The Babadook. Alright, those are your nominees. All amazing films, all obviously. Great, great films. Well, so if you have not seen one of them, or God forbid, all, I mean, if you haven't seen all of those, something's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> you obviously believe, you need to see you those. believe that modern horror is dead. Yeah, then I don't know why you're watching. If you haven't seen yeah. all of those. Anyway, who knows? Maybe, you, maybe your TV broke and you can't afford that. I'm being an asshole. Thing. All right, but are we gonna do this together? How do, how do like, we do like that? take it out together, and like, that's what she Push said. It together. All right, Horny goes to Best Picture, Best Horror Film of 2014 to join these up in the horror halls and <laughs> the rafters. <laughs> best Picture, you say it. Best Picture of 2014. Let's say it together. Let's say it on three. One, One two, three. three. Pieces, Pieces of, of talent. talent. Congratulations. Awesome. Great. Yeah, so, uh, joining David Long. Like, yeah, yeah. Again, again, David and of course, Long. Christy Ray. Congratulating you guys. Nominations. Yeah, great. For yeah, me. Sh yeah. Shout out to all of you guys, Christy Ray. You know, um, Joe Stoffer. I think the uh, best thing not to cut you off. The best thing about this one though is like, um, I I love that we're like not the only ones that are giving this film props. I mean, yeah, they got a lot of props. Has gotten a lot of credit. So it's not like one of those things like. It's like a film like Cross River, which I said I, I don't think has gotten enough credit. It's great. I'm happy that Piece of Talent has gotten a yeah, lot of praise. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy you know for I mean? him. All over YouTube, all over the internet. I mean, I'm just thrilled that it's like it's not just like us sitting here with you know. This, I mean, they've gotten a lot of credit and they deserve yeah. it so well. And there's well got to be a sequel. Yeah, they're working on it. So that's exciting. Um, that's really and, uh, exciting. Yeah. Um, congratulations, yeah, guys. Congratulations to, to all, all the winners tonight. Everybody's a winner. All the nominations and Everybody's quickly. A winner. Do this, I do this every year. A stack of these films weren't up for any awards, but I think they should be in your collection. They're in mine. Um, Ty West of Sacrament. Um, it's a really cool Spanish film for Elisa. I haven't heard many people talk about Proxy. Um, you saw this one, another Spanish film, Painless. I swear the Spaniards never get it wrong. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, they just, I rarely see one that I don't like. This was really cool. The last Days on Mars, we're into the sci fi, alien horror, really awesome. A couple other ones. This is tough leaving this one out. Takashi Miike's yeah. Return to Horror, Lesson of Evil, really Vegas. cool film. White Settlers, really cool um, film starring the uh, Lady from the Woman. A great movie. Don't judge a movie by its, its cover, right? Killer Mermaids, guys, seriously, this is a really cool, Bad. serious film. Franco Bad. Nero's Bad in this, cover. for all your old school talent fans. Franco Nero's in this film, awesome movie. Aftermath, um, what's his name in there? Eddie Furlong. Nice. It's a good movie, guys, seriously. Another Spanish one, House at the End of Time. Really cool. I really, really like that one, yeah. Alien Abduction. It's got a lot of hate I've seen from what I can tell. I thought it was really cool. Cool alien film. You gotta see this. So, yeah. Stack of honorable mentions. Thank you so much, guys. Again, congrats. Thanks so much for watching. Really cool. Congrats yeah, to Pieces of Talent. Yeah, it was, it was a great year. We had a lot of fun doing Why? it. Why? This was cool, Everyone right? Everyone was really yeah. great. It was cool doing it live. Yeah, right, right? A little yeah. awkward at times, yeah. but, you know. Special thanks again to David yeah, Long, Long for, for, uh, for hopping in. And it worked. Everything worked. Yeah, technically, yeah, those like, those no technical, problem, so you, know, you didn't knock the like camera that. over, but thank you guys, Chars, thanks for watching, I can't wait for this year, we're going to have a, it's gonna be a great year. after party, it won't be live this time, because I think we've, we're about lived out right now, Yeah. my memory card's I'm completely sick of all live. full, so we'll, we'll post that maybe a couple of days later, but um, so stick around in a couple of days for the after party, thanks so much guys, Chars, 2015, we're Chars excited, right, guys, yeah. can't wait well, for I'll the, look forward I'll, to you, I'll look forward to you, good night. Until next year, guys, the Hornies, we are out of here. Later.